Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Usually, I focus on Linux things, but I had a external hard disk that had some errors on the direct directory. So I tried to recover some files and I chose PhotoRec for this. And I know that PhotoRec is also available for Linux. But since I have several laptops, I decided to go with one of my Windows laptops because I don't use them as much as my Linux laptops. And when you try to recover some files, it can take a long time. And that would mean that the laptop is blocked for quite a long time. So you can download PhotoRec from this website, cgsecurity.org. And I already downloaded it and I already extracted it. And it's a, well, simple looking application. So first you have to find the drive where you want to recover files from. So in this case, it's this Samsung drive. And then we just go with the partition. And it's not a Linux file system. So we go with other. And I wanted to check the whole partition not just the unallocated space. Because let's just say you just deleted a file and you realized you wanted to keep it. Then you can just scan the free space and try to find the file that you just recently deleted. But since this is just trying to recover files because the drive is showing some errors, I go with whole. And now it wants to know where it needs to save the recovered files. And then it starts from the directory where you start the application. Perhaps that is good enough for you. And as it says, um, it's not a good idea to recover the files on the drive where you're trying to recover the files from. So in this case, just go with the two dots to go one directory higher and again. And in this case, I had another drive and that is identified by the letter G. And then I have a directory called recover and then you can click C but as you can see here I already did this and well you can see that I started on the 8th of January and I think the last directories were created on the 13th, I think. So, yeah, depending on how large your drive is and how many errors there are, it can take several days. So, yeah, don't be surprised when it takes a long, long time. So I'm not going to show you <laughs> how this actually runs because yeah, it can take a lot of time. Um, when it recovers the files, it will just assign a random name. And as soon as it 
hits more than 500 files, it will start working with subdirectories. And yeah, just to show you that it actually does recover files. Well, that's not a very interesting photo. So you can see the Ubuntu logo. So I think probably this was just an ISO image of Ubuntu. And I think also here you see that I think it says on the website that it has or it can have problems with stream files as they call it or data streams because it, it just reads the blocks and it sort of ignores the information from the directories and also like an ISO image is actually a collection of files so within the ISO image it will recognize the separate files and recover them and I guess that's just one of the limitations of this program and it's yeah, I, I don't think you can blame the author for this because they simply chose a certain way of recovering files. So that means that ISO images, yeah, you have to build them again yourself. And yeah, it's, it's really hard to blame program when it's offered for free so you don't have to pay anything for it but you can donate to the author so let's just say as soon as I start making money from this YouTube channel I will donate to this program but then first I need to have at least 1000 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed yet please do and I guess that's all there is to say about photo rack I will also investigate other options to recover files perhaps I can find a program where it doesn't assign random file names but that it will also try to recover the files including the file name so who knows in the future I will do a video on that but that is all for today and I hope to see you again in my next video